Kilenor, the magical world of RuneScape. It's divided into chunks for easy use. Welcome to Chunkman Dead Die Kill, the series where I conquer the landmass of Gilenor by doing tasks and unlocking chunks. Last episode we completed another 3 tasks for another 3 chunks. These tasks were completing the Tower of Life quest, the Fight Arena quest and lastly the Prince Ali rescue quest. Our map expanded with the left side of Ferox's enclave, the Mauritania farming patch and the bottom part of Meerditch. The next quest is going to be the last in line of what we can do after unlocking the Drainer Village chunk, but it's probably one of the most iconic and definitely the most iconic free to play quest. So we're going to do Dragon Slayer 1 and let's talk to the Guildmaster here to start the quest. We asked the Guildmaster for a quest and he mentioned that we need to talk to Oziak because he will be the one who will sell us the rune plate body. Oziak isn't all that amused that the Guildmaster keeps sending adventurers his way. So he mentions that we need to kill the dragon of Krandor for us to be able to get a rune plate body from him. We'll go back to the Guildmaster to see what extra information he can provide. Okay, the Guildmaster gave us a lot of information, but basically the dragon there destroyed the entire Krandor island. We need to get a ship, something to protect us, and then a map to guide us there. So first of all, let's get the first map piece from the Oracle. For the first map piece, the Oracle spoke in riddles. And let's see where we need to go. We already got the items she mentioned. So the silk, the unfired bowl, the wizard's mind bomb and the lobster pot. There's a magic door here in the dwarven mines. Let's use all of the items on it. And that opens the door. Great. Now, just to get the piece from the chest here. There we go. First map part, two to go. Wormbrain here has the next part of the map, but we need to pay him 10,000 gold pieces. And let's just kill him for it instead. That's going to be easier. And now to just use telekinetic grab on the map part. There we go, two out of three, one more to go. For the last piece we are here at Melzar's Maze, just above Remington. And we got the key from the Guildmaster to get in. So we're going to have to solve a couple of puzzles to get to the map piece. A couple of rooms in, here we see Melzar the Mad, who is apparently still alive. But we're going to have to kill him to get to the next door. Okay, that's Melzar down. And he summoned a lot of cabbages for some reason. <laughs> Last challenge will be this lesser demon, but we should be able to safe spot it. Yep. There we go. This shouldn't take long. That's the end of the maze. So let's open the chest for the last piece of the map. And we have the full Crandorian map. Next up, let's go talk to the Duke in Lumbridge to get some shields to protect us from the fiery breath of the dragon. We got the anti-dragon fire shield without much difficulty and it's also a good upgrade. Next up is going to be a boat. So we have the map and the protection. Now we just need to get there with a boat. While we are 
passing through Trainer Village, one thing I forgot to buy was the Chronicle and some teleport cards to put into the Chronicle. And this is going to be a very nice teleport to the Champions Guild here. Let's talk to Clarence here to buy his ship. Now the only thing we need to do is fix some of the ship. There we go. We fully patched the ship. Now we just need a captain and we are ready to go. Let's talk to Ned here. The biggest reason we needed the drainer village chunk. And ask him if he wants to become our captain. It didn't take much convincing for us to get Ned to be our captain. So let's gear up and let's go slay a dragon. Back at our boat, let's go to Crandor. Elvark is attacking our ship, so that's pretty bad. barely made it to shore alive but we made it the island of Crandor now to go to the center of the island and kill the dragon let's first of all unlock the shortcut so we can get back here if necessary let's pot up before the fight and let's get in And that's the dragon down. She hit more than I imagined. But at our level this shouldn't be a problem. We took her head just to be able to prove to Oziak that we actually did it. So let's go back. There we go, back to Oziak to show him the head. And that's the end of the quest. We get Two quest points, 18,000 strength experience, 18,000 defense experience, and of course, the most important thing is that we can now equip the rune and dragon plate bodies, but also all the dragon hide bodies. So let's buy a plate body immediately because it is an upgrade. It's pretty expensive. And also the green dragon hide body is going to be really, really useful. But anyway, as we finished the quest, that's another task to be completed on our spreadsheet. And another chunk to pick. The 48 quest Dragon Slayer has been completed. For 144 chunks unlocked in total and then back to the map the last chunk we unlocked was the south part of Meerditch which wasn't all that useful so hopefully we don't go that side yet but let's see what the chunk picker decides pick a chunk Oof. We get the city here on Mosul Harmless, but we cannot get here. We need at least a port here, and there's a quest to get here. So, 
it's going to be useful later on, but for now that's not a useful chunk. For the next chunk, we could do some more quests. There are still two left we can definitely do, but there has been enough questing for me for a little while, so let's just try and get more of the mossy keys and of course the beginner clues. We only need 12 more keys, so we're getting really close to finishing Bryophyta. And for the beginner caskets, this is probably going to be the chunk we unlock. We already got one, so we need 24 more. We've reached 15 caskets, and we've gotten another few keys. Not enough to complete the full task, but we do have enough if we use 10 of the keys here to get another 10 beginner clues and the casket, so that would bring us up to 25. While we're here for killing Bryophyta, might as well look at the single task we still need to do for Bryophyta, and that's a slow death. So we need to kill Bryophyta with either poison or venom damage as the final source of the damage. So I brought the only poison weapon we have, the Dragon Dagger Normal Poison. And we're pretty much going to tank everything. So I brought a ton of prayer potions and some food. And of course I forgot an anti-poison. But Bryo is poisoned, so... And I also forgot... Oh, I forgot the axe. We should be able to kill it if we just stand here and wait. We have enough food to not be bothered by the poison. And there she goes. A slow death has been completed. Let's pick up everything and go to the bank for an anti-poison. Now yeah, it's kill number 30 for a rune chain body. This is going much smoother with the dragon dagger and the dragon longsword as well as the dragon defender. So and also the potions just just much much better than what it used to be kill number 34 for another mossy key nice that's one less we need to get and that's the 35th kill the last one for now let's complete this beginner clue and then let's open the caskets and there we go that's all the 25 beginner caskets. This went pretty fast with the upgrades we got. We also got a few long bones. We're up to 5 mossy keys left, so that's another 10 more to go after these 5. And we also got up to 80 strength now, and we started training attack. Let's see the collection log again for the beginner clues. We are still missing only the sandwich lady hat. So let's spam open these ones and hope we get it. Mm, not lucky this time. We got an amulet of defense trimmed. A sandwich lady top, some bare feet, and that seems to be all. So that's another few duplicates added to the log, and we reached 500 beginner treasure trails opened. And that means we have finished that task, and we can unlock a new chunk. So, finishing the 500 beginner clues only four tasks after this one until we reach the 600 so let's complete it was our 21st clue task and we reached 25 percent as well which is pretty nice and we got up to 145 chunks unlocked in total last chunk we unlocked was 
die main square here in Mosle Harmless. I hope we don't get any more of this, just not yet, as we cannot reach it anyway. So let's see, what does the chunk picker have in store for us? Pick a chunk. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. The fishing platform, one of the gaps filled in from the map. And that means we will be able to do this quest. I think it's the slug menace or something to do with slug. But that's actually pretty nice on lock. The quest is called Sea Slug apparently and let's immediately do it. It's a fairly fast quest. Let's talk to Caroline to start it. Caroline tells us that her husband Kent and her son are at the fishing platform. It's a kind of a father brings kids to work day. But Caroline hasn't heard anything from them in a while, so she asks us to check on them. We can talk to Holgert here to get to the fishing platform. He had some holes in the boat and we had the swamp paste in our inventory ready to fix it. Now before we travel to the fishing platform, let's unlock it. And there we go. Here at the fishing platform, there are a lot of sea slugs here and some weird looking fishermen. So let's see what we can find here if we can find Kenneth and Kent. There's the sun, Kenneth, stuck between these crates here. Let's talk to him and see what's going on. Apparently his father went and got some help because the fisherman here tried to throw them overboard. As Kent didn't reach the shore over here, he probably has reached this island here, so in the wrong direction. And let's ask Holgert here to bring us there. And there is Kent, let's talk to him to see what's going on. Apparently when they had a good haul of fish, they also fished up a lot of sea slugs. And when those attach to your body, they mind control you and take over your entire body. So that's really not good. We'll have to save the kid on the fishing platform. And Bailey here seems to still have his mind. Apparently Bailey is the cook and when he tried to cook the sea slugs they were very afraid so that's why he's still untouched and he gave us an unlit torch to keep them at bay and with the glass over here and some damp sticks we should get the torch going. That's the torch lit now let's make a plan to help Kenneth escape. We made a hole here in the wall so he can escape that way so he doesn't have to go past this fisherman here who is possessed. So let's talk to him and let's get him out. He still doesn't want to come out. We have to f get the entire plan before he gets out. So we need to get him down and let's use this crane for that. Okay, with the help from the crane we got the boy down without passing any of the fishermen or the sea slugs. And now with Holgert, let's go back to the mainland. Back at Witchhaven, let's talk to Caroline. And that's the quest completed. We get one quest point, 7000 fishing experience, access to the fishing platform, although I don't see why we would want to go there, and some oyster pearls. So a very fast quest, and because we completed that quest, that's another task done, and another chunk to unlock. The 49th quest, Sea Slug, has been completed. 
four, one hundred and forty-six chunks in total now. And then back to the map. We unlocked the fishing platform last time. And we immediately finished the quest as well, so this was a pretty good unlock. But it was also one of the singular chunks on the map. So it doesn't really change much for what we can unlock next. So let's see what the chunk picker decides for us. Pick a chunk. Okay, more water. Oh, no, not more water. It's Crash Island. Crash Island is for Monkey Madness, but for that we need to go a bit further here to definitely the Grand Tree. And I'm not sure what else, but for now that's just a normal unlock, nothing special at the moment. That's going to be all for this episode. We've gotten through all of the quests we unlocked with the Drainer Chunk. And now we can continue with some other things like beginner clues and finishing Bryophyta. So as always, I hope to see you all next week for some more Chunkman progress.